In this video, I'll discuss how to set up Wi-Fi WAN on your Teltonica Networks routers. Wi-Fi WAN allows you to extend your Wi-Fi range, add an extra layer of security to your network while also providing the option of backup internet connectivity for routers with mobile capabilities. Today, we will use Teltonica RUTX11 for the configuration. RUTOS consistently receives updates, so at the time you are watching this video, some menu options, descriptions, or UI interfaces might be different. However, the functionality will work the same as described. Before we start, we have to change the router's default LAN IP to 192.168.10.1 or to any other subnet to prevent any issues on the network side since both routers might have the same default IP address. On the left hand side, choose Network, click on LAN, and you can edit your LAN IP here. Don't forget to click Save and Apply when you change the IP. You will lose your connection since the IP is changed. All you need to do is to open a new browser tab and log in with the new IP address you have just set. Once logged in, change your router's mode to Advanced by clicking on the Basic in the top right corner. It will enable advanced options for the configuration. To start, move your cursor over the network on the left-hand side and choose Wireless. Both bands are turned on by default. For this configuration, we will use 2.4 GHz for the connection. So we will click the Scan button next. After a short scan, you'll get a list of available Wi-Fi networks and you'll choose a network you want to join by clicking on the Join Network button. On the next page, you'll type WPA passphrase and click on the Submit button. That will take us to the Interface Configuration page. If you want to know more about the options, hover your mouse over the settings and you'll get a short description. Leave the default settings unless you want to perform further configuration on wireless security or advanced settings. Make sure the mode is set to Client. To continue, click Save and Apply button. In the Wireless Overview window, you'll find a new entry with the SSID of your Wi-Fi connection. Status Running signifies that you are connected. Now we have a working Wi-Fi interface and we can set it as our main WAN interface. Go to the Network tab and click on the Interfaces. In the Network Interfaces window, you need to grab the Wireless W1 interface entry and move it to the top. Don't forget to click Save and Apply afterwards. Congratulations, you have successfully configured Wi-Fi WAN on your device. Thank you for your time, I hope you learned something new today. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe and follow us on our social media channels. See you on another tutorial.